All right, let's move on into India. India um, is going to be controlled at first by the East India Trading Company. Now, the East India Trade Company, the East India Company, uh, simply going to be a British company. Um, and their goal was to provide uh, kind of a way for the people in this region, the British in this region, to make money and ship their product back to England. Okay, that's going to be allowed for the, or allow for the British to become the leading exporter in the region of India. Okay, so they're going to control Nepal, Bangladesh, uh, Sri Lanka, uh, Pakistan, and then India as well. Um, the British are slowly going to take this little region they're controlling, or this was a little region, and expand that rule to control all of the regions. So they're going to control everything you can see in yellow on this map the British are going to be controlling at this time period. Uh, local rebellions are going to start to happen, and these rebellions are going to cause a number of social reforms. They're going to want social reforms. People native of this region are tired of the British controlling it, and they're going to want to get their own of this. Um, one of these is going to be the Sepoy Mutiny. The Sepoy Mutiny is going to be a revolt against the British um, and it's going to cause a number of different things. The biggest thing that's going to happen here, um, other than the oppression of a number of local Indians at this time, is one, the control is going to change from being controlled by the um, company, uh, the East India or the East India Company to being controlled by the Crown. Okay, so the actual um, King and Queen of England are going to be the ones controlling India at this time period. Additionally, okay, oh, went the wrong direction right through here. Let's go back real fast. Um, if you look at this map right over here, uh, eventually as it's going to be split up, they're going to split up this region, which is all considered India, into different regions, primarily based upon religions. So where you're going to see uh, Pakistan and India being controlled there. Okay, India was predominantly Hindu. Um, Pakistan is predominantly Muslim. And that's going to be the biggest region, the reason they're going to be forming two different countries. Ultimately, going to lead to a little bit of tensions moving on later on, but we'll not get into that right now. Next, the Anglo-Egyptian War. The Anglo-Egyptian Roar. Okay, Ahmed Arubi, if I'm pronouncing that one right, uh, is a nationalist and a military leader in Egypt. Um, he wants to reduce foreign influence going on in Egypt. So at this time period, uh, Africa uh, is being controlled primarily by Europeans. Ahmed Arubi does, Arabi does not like this. He wants to go and reduce influence from foreigners in Egypt predominantly. He does not view foreigners um, as beneficial and he views them as taking advantage of, Engl of the English. Uh, so he's going to be going and kind of leading this. Additionally, there's going to be a number of anti-Christian riots breaking out. Uh, Christians in, or Europeans are predominantly Christian. The Egyptians are not. Uh, they're going to be or really kind of rioting and going against that. They do not want the Christians telling them how to live their lives. They want to be able to be independent and living their own lives. Then on July 11th, 1882, the British are going to come in and they're going to invade Egypt. They want to get Arabi removed from power. They view him as a threat. Um, he's kind of encouraging these riots and these protests. Um, he wants them, or the British want him gone. So they're going to come in and they're going to quickly go by September 15th, 1882. The British are going to capture the capital of Cairo um, and they're going to remove Arabi from power. Now this is going to begin years of occupation uh, in Egypt um, by the British. The British are going to start controlling it. This is going to be known as the Veiled Protectorate. It's going to be called the Veiled Protectorate for a couple different reasons. Um, but predominantly, it's that the region is technically controlled by the Ottoman Turks, okay, from Turkey. However, the British are the ones controlling the region. They're protecting it, hence the name Veiled Protectorate. So it's kind of British, but it's kind of Ottoman, and it is kind of its own little thing. Um, the Britons are, British are going to gain total control in 1914, and this is simply when the Ottomans um, are going to join against the British in World War I. That is all for now. If you have any questions, comment down below. Otherwise... Good luck.